sub YouTube uh, later in the day, and I decided to uh, continue on my Project Nagant journey. Um, so uh, what we're doing now is uh, here's the barrel uh, already taken down minus the trigger, and uh, basically uh, what we're doing is we're actually going to be one sec. Uh, cleaning off the original paint job on the gun, or what may be the original, or possibly there's some touch-ups up here, so I'm assuming maybe back when this gun was in service, or when it was brought over here uh, through Century, uh, maybe it was touched up. Uh, but what we're doing is we're going to use acetone, and uh, some of you may be saying to yourselves, well, you know, acetone's flammable and the gun makes fire, you know, uh, is that dangerous or not? Um, it can be, but uh, the way we're going to apply it is actually with cheesecloth, uh, acetone to the cloth, rubbing down the barrel to remove the, uh, the finish here, the black paint, which I don't know what type of paint it is, um, maybe a matte black, uh, and we're going to basically rub it off. Once we're done with that, we're actually going to take Dawn, and we're going to rub the whole thing down with some soapy Dawn water, and then uh, the Dawn shouldn't leave any, uh, any grease, but if it does, uh, we're going to follow it up with crud cutter, which you, uh, which I had in my other video, uh, to remove any grease that might be applied to the gun. Um, other thing we're going to do is make sure, uh, when I'm doing this, not to get any in the barrel. So I actually will be capping the barrel with some foam. And then uh, making sure not to get any in the breech. So I'll also be foam, cap, uh, covering this as well with some foam. Uh, and uh, the inside of the gun, I will not be doing. I actually will be leaving all of that alone. Uh, because of the action of the bolt, I don't want it to affect it. So the gun, the whole gun will be painted minus the inside of the bolt and of course the barrel. So uh, I'm going to sign off now. Uh, we'll get outside and uh, we'll show what kind of foam I'm using and uh, we'll go from there. All right, signing off. All right, so we're back. Um, okay, so basically YouTube, uh, this is what we got going on here. Let me get the camera off the hook here. Um, all right, like I said, uh, I think you're going to need to do this. You're going to need acetone. Uh, any acetones uh, will do, it doesn't matter the brand, as long as it's an acetone. Um, again, after we acetone it, uh, I'm going to wash it with Dawn and a bucket of soapy water. Uh, I'll get that in a minute. And then, uh, if there's any grease left over, you're going to want crud cutter. And that'll help remove any grease. Uh, what we got going on here again is the barrel. Uh, you can see that right there. Um, I did just disassemble the um, trigger assembly. You have your trigger here, which I'm not actually painting. I'm actually going to keep this the way it is. I want it to be a black. And then you have just the uh, the trigger piece, which I don't know what you call it. <coughs> a little doodad that goes between the trigger. And then you have your tension bolt. Um, to take it apart, uh, what I used is a Winchester's gunsmithing screwdriver set. I get it at Walmart for $10. And it has all your assortment of uh, bits and pieces you'll need to uh, take apart a gun. Very important. Um, as uh, I learned uh, with another uh, process where I actually had uh, tore up a screw on a, a revolver I have because I was trying to take it apart. And I also have in here is my bag of goodies, as you may say, um, which is all the other pieces broken up of the rifle um, that are also going to be acetoned. Uh, so I'll go ahead and take those out and then uh, we'll get started. And then, uh, of course, uh, as earlier in the video today, um, there's the stock drying. So uh, I'm going to sign off here. All right, so we're back. Um, okay, so now we have our terry cloth, or no, I'm sorry, our cheese cloth. Basically, what you're going to want to do is just, you know, fold it up so it can absorb some of the uh, acetone. And of course, put it over and then just let it soak in. Uh, once you get some on there, just cap it. And then uh, what we'll do is we'll start off with the uh, box mag here. Um, basically, what you're going to do is I can get it open, take the box mag up. Close it in, pop it out. The only part we want to actually acetone is the bottom. We don't want to mess with the, uh, the actual loading spring. So we'll put that to the side for the moment. And we take our acetone. And basically you're just going to rub the acetone in there. And let it eat away at the, uh, the actual paint. We need a little more. So add a little more to it. And then again, you also want to have gloves for this. You don't want the acetone to get on your hands. Uh, that would not be good. You see, it's kind of slowly eating away at it. So, let's see, make sure it's in camera. Yeah, we are. 
you can see right there some of the yellow. And that's probably part of it's probably just like um, leftover oil that didn't come off from the uh, from cleaning it with the solvent last night. When you're putting the acetone on, you want to make sure to uh, not get it everywhere. You just want to make sure you have control of it so it doesn't go everywhere and make a big mess or you know ruin anything you don't want ruined. Okay, and basically, like I said, what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to keep going over this, so uh, I'm going to sign off and then uh, come back on when we get a little further with the actual uh, rubbing it down with the acetone. Okay, well, I'm back, guys. I'm um, actually, I don't have any foam like I thought I did, so actually, I haven't foamed anything. Um, I have been uh, applying the, uh, the the acetone to the barrel, um, just, you know, lightly doing it, trying to stay away from the breech as well as the barrel entry or the entrance of the barrel, um, you know, and it has taken off some of the paint. Uh, but uh, what we're basically going to do here, um, because it's not really taking off the paint like I expected, uh, I'm actually going to get uh, a really high grit 440 sandpaper from inside, and uh, we're going to sand it. And then after it's done sanding, then we're going to uh, wash it with the Dawn, and from the Dawn, do any crud cutter if uh, we have any left over. So uh, I need to change the batteries, and uh, I'm going to work on this some more with some more acetone. Just try to break up the paint, and then... Uh, from there, we'll uh, go to the next step, which would be uh, to sand up these pieces here, and uh, then we'll be done. So uh, I'll be back. All right, guys. So I'm back again. Got the four, or actually not 440. I, I'm, I'm messing up today. I can't. I can't believe it. Uh, it's actually 400 grit sandpaper. And uh, what we're gonna do is I'm actually gonna uh, basically fold it up, and then from uh, that, I'm gonna fold it again on the other side. Kind of an uneven fold, but that's all right. And then just tear it off. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna wrap it around the barrel, and I'm just gonna go up and down, up and down, um, until there's a nice uh, light scratch marks on the barrel. And the reason for this is uh, when I go to paint it uh, with the door coat, uh, it's gonna have it'll give it that. Uh, uh, ability to actually absorb the paint versus it deflect the paint because it's too smooth. As you can see already, it's actually already changing color from black to a brown. And that's just because the uh, between the acetone and the uh, 400 grit sandpaper, it's just chewing up that uh, paint that was here. So basically, I'll take it all the way I can, and then uh, after I do the barrel. I'll go to uh, the other pieces here, but it's basically what you want to do, uh, you know, just up and down, up and down, and I know some of you guys out there might be thinking like, holy shit, he's stroking his barrel, but, uh, you know, that's for another time, so, uh, all right, well, I'm going to sign out here, I'm going to work on this, and then I'll get to the pieces and show you the next step. All right, guys, I'm back, so I'm um, after sanding it for a while, um, basically, this is what you get, um, I'm not sure if you guys can see the difference in color, but uh, it actually will start, actually, uh, there's all these, like, little mini circles on the gun, on the barrel itself, the way it was formed, um, if any of you can, uh, guys out there know why, uh, feel free to post, I'm not really sure what the, why it's formed like that, I'm guessing just the way they used to form them back in the day, but as you can see here, after sanding it and uh, putting the acetone in the mix, um, it did take down the the, uh, the original finish on the paint, and that goes all the way down the gun. Uh, you can see the, s the symbols in there. And uh, I sanded all of it down. Uh, this is probably much as good as it's going to get. I'm going to wash it, you know, with the Dawn in a little bit to make sure to get the acetone off that might have been left over that didn't come up from just sanding it. And, um, you know, also to clean off any of the dust that's still there. As you can see, it's a lot there. Um, but I cleaned it all up. Minus uh, inside the breech, of course, and inside the front of the barrel, uh, all in here. Um, so this guy is pretty much ready for paint, just got to be cleaned up. Uh, the next step we're going to do is we're going to go to uh, the actual box mag. And on this, they're the same thing. I'm just going to sand the outside with the 400 grit sandpaper. I'm going to sand the uh, trigger guard. And then uh, probably a little bit at the top here um, on the side where the uh, ammo, this 
the bottom plate because I'm not going to worry about the top being that it's going to be inside the gun. And I want the inside to be untouched simply because I want the action to be uh, still working 100% once the gun gets put back together. I don't want anything to be fouled up because of uh, an additional thickness from the door coat. So um, when I get ready to paint, all this will be um, covered except for this top leaf here that I'm going to, this top edge that I'll, of course, paint with the door coat. So it's all uh, in one color. And then also um, the little rings. I can only get the one ring off um, that locks the top of the stock in place. And I'm going to clean these up and then just uh, leave these black. So these will be black. The trigger will be black. And the rest of the gun will actually be an OD green, um, all one color. It just kind of to mix up the coloring and to uh, uh, really kind of make the uh, OD green pop more and uh, be more, uh, I, I, uh, to pick up better. Um, so uh, what we'll do now is I'll go ahead and start sanding this with the uh, 400 grit sandpaper. And uh, after that, uh, I'll go ahead and touch up the screws and that'll be it for this. Um, the bolts already been cleaned and disassembled and uh, uh, I polished the bolt, so that's actually ready to go. Um, so once I have all this done, basically just it'll be real time, ready for paint. Um, and then that'll be it. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and sand this down. Uh, I'm going to put you guys off, and then when I come back, I'll show you all the pieces, and we'll go to the next step, which is the dawn. Okay. All right, guys, we're back. 